What's going on YouTube? Good Call 6 here. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, it's been, it's been three weeks to a month since I last made a video. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff to show, three, works of, three weeks of stuff to show. Um, quite a bit of stuff, a bunch of set pickups, uh, raffle wins, which haven't been much. Uh, PC pickups, a couple uh, big PC pickups. Uh, and then also I have a set, another set pickup from one of my other sets that I've completed, but... Um, I'll get into that in uh, this video. So hold on tight. Uh, get your popcorn ready because there's going to be a whole shit ton of stuff in this video. Sorry for my language, but there's a bunch of stuff. Um, start things off, we'll go into my uh, set for pickups for the Frost set. Um, <clears throat> my good buddy Rizzo Rays fan, 358 Mike Rizzo, uh, uh, sent me a text uh, a week or two ago saying he picked up a couple uh, cards from my set, which I really appreciate. And he sent them my way, so I got them the other day. Uh, here's the note. It says, Matt, here's two autos towards the awesome set you're putting together. Enjoy your friend, Mike Rizzo. Uh, like I said, man, thank you very much. It's really appreciated for you looking me out, uh, looking out for me for this set. Because um, these aren't popping up too much. But uh, um, the ones he sent me were Jonathan Hankins. <clears throat> nice card. And Colin Klein. Which my brother would also love, because it's K-State. So... Um, those are the two cards he sent me, so like again, man, much appreciated. Um, and now we'll get into the rest of the set pickups for that set that I've picked up, which is quite a few. Um, first is Juwan Jameson. Uh, next, I've never heard of this guy. Tyrone Guard. I have a story with this one. This guy had an offer on it, or uh, buy it now is like $5, or best offer. Um, so I offered him like 3 bucks. he declined it. Uh, I was like, what are you looking for, really, onto this card? He's like, just buy it now. I was like, all right, I'll just wait on it then. Puts it in standard auction. I went it for $3. So um, that was just a big old waste of my time there. Uh, next, we got Tyler Wilson. Another star with this one. Dude had $120 buy it now on it, which is ridiculous because the dude isn't even in the league anymore. I offered him 10 He declined it right away. Uh, the or, I didn't do anything. I didn't offer anything else because I was like, whatever, I'll just let this card go. And I was watching it, but slowly it, he kept lowering the price um, to where it got to like thirty four ninety nine. So I offered him ten bucks again, and he accepted it right away. So another waste of my time. Uh, next we got a Stedman Bailey. Um, next we have a Zach Ertz. Next is a Tyler Eifert. Got a hair in that one. Nice looking cards. And last two, uh, one of the nicer ones, Aaron Dobson. Put up Rizzo. He just picked this one up the other day. So nice card there. And probably the biggest card in my set right now um, is Cordero Patterson. Really love the look of this card. It's nice. The I don't know. Just the whole thing. It just pops to me. Uh, really nice looking card there. Um, I was looking on Beckett. And they don't have a price for EJ Manuel, Geno Smith, Le'Veon Bell. I think there's another big name too in there. Um, that they didn't have. So I don't even know if they made them or what's going on. But um, So the biggest one as of now is Eddie Lacy, which is going for quite a bit. Um, so yeah, if anyone has any of those, let me know. I think I have 30 or so of these. Uh, so I'm almost halfway done with this set. So um, Like I said, they aren't popping up too much. And when they do, I try to pick them up. So um, Next we'll get into raffle wins, which is nothing, basically. Um, compared to what I've been buying into... I've been having awful luck in raffles lately. Uh, it's weird because the, the 10 spot raffles, I can't win. Or I, I've won two or three. Um, but in the other groups that I'm in, I 7,500 spot raffles and I win. It's like, I don't get it. So, um, first off, we have a, uh, this is I won a 20 spot raffle. A nice Randall Cobb Quad Relic Auto. Uh, Josh, style style 21. Uh, if you need this, let me know. Um, next, we have another nice one, uh, Giovanni Bernard Chrome Autograph, numbered to 600. Really excited about that one. Uh, next, we, we got a PC, two PC raffle wins. Uh, first one is an Andy Dalton Limited, two color patch auto, uh, numbered to 299. These really don't pop up on eBay very often. Uh, and when they do, people want a ton for them. So I was happy to win that. I won it for $10. Uh, and this one actually went on Wednesday and it got here, so it was really quick shipping on that dude's part. Um, really love the look of these cards. It's baseball, but uh, David Wright, 
This is the purple version, silver ink autograph, number to 15. So yeah, really slick looking card there. It's got a little bit of smear in the autograph, but nonetheless a nice looking card. Um, so that's the raffles, which is what I've spent on raffles for that is, is ugh, pretty bad. Um, next we got a couple box breaks. Um, I had one today. I bought a box of baseball. Just seen a bunch of people been opening it lately. Thought I'd dabble into it, I guess. Uh, I'm trying my luck. Uh, I don't really know much about the prospects, but um, I know some of them go for big money. So um, my autograph, I guess, wasn't too bad compared to some of the ones that I've seen. But um, these are refractors. I got a franchise future of Billy Hamilton to 250. A nice blue refractor of Andrew Knapp to 99. It's a really nice looking card. The blue kind of pops. And my autograph uh, was DJ Peterson. Just a base autograph. Shortstop for the Mariners. I don't know where he got drafted or anything like that. I haven't really looked much into it. Oh, first rounder, 12th overall. Hm, not bad. That's not a bad hit there, I guess. Um, and then a couple weeks ago, I went down to uh, Billings to see my buddy 2 4 Nathan Oak. Uh, hung out, watched the NFC Championship and AFC Championship. Uh, NFC Championship didn't go the way he wanted it to. Um, I kind of felt bad because he was really pissed about it. So, um, But we went to the card shop down there, um, bought a box, uh, which I wasn't planning. Or I was kind of planning on it, but um, I don't know. I just haven't had much, uh, much luck lately in boxes. And I told myself that I wasn't going to buy anything from this year's stuff. Um, but I'm glad I did. We're going to slow roll this thing. I bought a box of 2013 Strata. If you guys are on Facebook, you've probably already seen this. Um, but we were sitting back there. I was opening this box. I put the packs to this, or we searched through the packs to see what, uh, what if we can tell what the clear cut was. Um, and the jersey. So I put those aside so I could open those two last. Uh, I opened this pack last. I kind of, I had the, the cards like this. And then I kind of scrolled down and I saw, I don't know if you guys will see that, T.A. Just like, oh, Tavon Austin, nice. That's a pretty nice card. Because the the other the rest of the box really wasn't that great. Um, so as I flip it over. I was sitting there staring at Nathan. Let's see. And I was going down with the packs and I was looking at it like this. We're like, purple? What the hell's purple mean? Because he's been trying to do the Lattimore um, rainbow for this. And he hasn't seen a purple one yet. So we're like, what the heck is this? So we scroll down, and I see 101, and I'm flipping a lid. This is the first time I've ever pulled a 101. I've never pulled one before. So I was scrolling down, and I was like, oh, 101, no way. And I was like, bam. Yeah. Tavon Austin, clear-cut 101 uh, glove. I think they call it the glove quartz uh, autograph. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, I was shaking, freaking out, gave him a high five. Kind of yelled because the other guys were playing, the rest of the people that were there were uh, playing Magic. And they kind of like looked at us like, what the heck are these guys doing? And I was like, yeah. Boom. So if I hold this long enough, it'll be the uh, thumbnail. Yeah, I was really excited with this. This is probably going to be going nowhere anytime soon. Uh, like I said, my first time, first ever one on one that I pulled. It's actually a decent player too, so. Yeah, who knows what kind of value that can hold on in the future. Um, but it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. So, um, that's that. And now we're on to, I guess, PC type pickups. I uh, picked up another hockey card. Uh, Marc-Andre Fleury jersey autograph. Number 2 out of 49. Picked that up on the cheap side. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I, uh, when Russell Wilson was doing hot, I had my, uh, as you guys know, my certified uh bgs pristine 10 10 uh russell wilson from certified i uh got that in from bgs a while ago i've had it up on ebay with an insane buy it now uh just to see what kind of offers i could get on it um i had one that i uh declined and then uh, another one came up where this guy offered me a decent amount of money i countered him uh and he countered up a little bit more i ended up taking that offer uh for the pristine 10 so i no longer have that um, so I still had to get the Russell Wilson for the uh, set to have it completed still. So I went out and picked up with that money uh, 
the BGS 95 of Russell Wilson. Two color, two jerseys, uh, to four ninety nine. Nine five, almost the same card. Centering's ten, edges nine five, corners nine, surface ten. So if this would have got, I think one more ten or one, yeah, one more ten, it would have been a pristine ten. I think that's how it goes. Um, but yeah, so now I have the Luck nine five, the RG three nine five, and the Russell Wilson nine five. Uh, so now I need to get the Foles, the Tannehill. Who else could I get here? I don't remember who else, but I was going to try to get nine fives of all those guys. So, yeah, pick that bad boy up. Um, now we're on to the PC pickups. Bucked pickups. I haven't been any for a while. Uh, I haven't really, I haven't had anything catch my eye really to pick up. Um, but I went kind of nuts this time. Picked up a couple of really nice Doug Martins and then a really nice Mike Glennon. I got this for what I can think is an absolute steal. Uh, it's the Mike Glennon four color patch autograph refractor to 50. Yeah, you guys can see that shine. <laughs> awesome looking card. I got this for a steal. I thought most of the some of these were going close to $100 during the season, so um, I picked this up for a third of that, close to a third if I'm doing my math right. Um, next we have a really nice Dougie pickup. I haven't picked up, I actually have one uh, chrome autograph of him, and it's the uh, pink, which is with Nathan to uh, go to a new BGS order um, sometime in the new near future. Uh, so I picked up this one. This is the Prism Refractor autograph of Doug Martin, numbered 16 out of 50. Bam. This is a really nice card. These cards used to go for a lot, too, so... Um, yeah, I was pumped to pick that one up. And last but not least, I was even more excited to pick this thing up. I've wanted this card for so long. Finally was able to pull the trigger on one and got it for a really good price. Uh, it is a Doug Martin Camo Refractor Autograph. BGS 9510 Autograph. So yeah, really nice card. 53 out of 105. Get it in there. Bam. Yeah. Pump to bring that in. So I need a couple more to kind of start the rainbow. I guess I've already kind of started it, but the black and the gold and the red are going to be outrageous prices, so I don't know if I'll be able to pick those up anytime soon. Uh, so that's all I have for pickups now. I uh, hope you guys enjoy Super Bowl Sunday tomorrow. Um, I'm actually going to go be going for the Broncos. Never thought I'd say that, but yeah, I'm going for the Broncos. I didn't really like the whole... Uh, Richard Sherman antics after the game against the Niners. So, still a fan of Russell Wilson, but Sherman just kind of killed it for me. That and Golden Tate, too. So, um, those two got some pretty bad attitudes, I think. Um, just full of themselves. Not really, don't really like them. So, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoy tomorrow, like I said. Uh, I don't have anything else coming in, so it might be another or a while before I do a video. I think about doing a contest. Um, just trying to think of what to do and what to do for prizes. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.